complete file that you see in the opening animation will be posted on my Patreon, and the simplified version of the file will be on my Gumroad. So let's make the swimming animation. And be sure you have turned off your Solar 5 modifier and Subdivision modifier. You can even turn off the Smooth modifier because we want to have some better performance for the animation. And also toggle off your fish scale. And now we have things ready. So let's make swimming geometry node. Make a geometry node on this body. Create a new geometry node. And put it just right above our fish geometry node and rename that to be swim and again the most of the credit for this swimming geometry node animation is for BBBN19s because he made this awesome tutorial for this fish swimming and my version of this is built based on him and some customization first just do the basically same thing with BBBN19s use a set position so we want to use this set position to offset our fish so let's take a noise texture and set it to be 1D and just plug the color to the offset and it will be offset and try to turn this W see if it's working but the movement is too small so let's make a vector math and set it to scale and set maybe to 10 depending on the size of your fish and depending on how big the scale you want it to swim turn this W again you can see it's moving but it's only on this corner the reason for that is because color output is giving out three number and each number is demonstrate x y z and all this number is between zero to one so here is zero for example here is one and here is one as well the number is between zero to one it will always be swimming around this area because it's between zero to one so what we want to do is to subtract it 0.5 so this number will become minus 0.5 to 0.5 it will be around here so this offset process is often used with offset with noise texture and then we make a, another vector math and to be subtract 0.5 so it will be offset back and now if we try to drag the W again you will be around here so now we have that we can use a sync time to drive that so take a sync time and I will use second and just try to play and it's moving too fast so map and multiply it to be 0.05 for this moment you can frame this to be time and we frame this to be noise offset this is the basic movement that we have then we want to calculate some distance if you look at the side weight try to turn off this swimming geometry node first you will see the fish head is aligned with the origin point which is zero the tail is furthest point to this origin point so now we want to do is we calculate the distance from here to here we want the time to apply the head first and the time to apply to the tail less like the head is going first body will be like follow the head whatever it goes so let's take a vector math and in the vector math there is a distance and we plug that in with a position position means position means all the vertex for this fish and the second is means the origin point here and remember to turn on this swimming modifier and then let's make a math I set it to be add and plug this distance with this add and then you might see something weird but don't worry about that just use another math and set it to be multiply and plug that in and set the multiply to be some value that is very small mine is 0.01 it will be different between how big your fish size because i forget to shrink down my fish size so it will be different than yours so now let's try to play the timeline. I think I put a wrong number, it should be minus, and I want to be even smaller, 0 0.005. So now the body has some movement, not just like one flat fish. 
However, it still looks a little bit weird, but uh, just don't worry about that too much for this point. Friend, uh, and now we have to make the head rotation. To be able to make the head rotation, we need to know the direction, which is the vector of the noise, how it moves in the time, which is following with this noise. So you can think this noise as a timeline. And we have to split this timeline to be two. For example, this noise, it provides a movement like this. And now in certain frame, maybe frame 100, it's at this point. So we want to give a time offset for the duplicate of this noise. That time offset will point at the time over here. So now we have these two points. And then we just use some math to calculate these two points. We will get this direction. So when the fish is swimming, it will the head will rotate through this direction. Same as any each other point. So that's why we need to give a time offset for the duplicate of the noise. Just think this as a timeline. So with that very bad explanation, let's do that. So that's how I like to do. Instead of just um, duplicate this, we make it to be a group. Select this and press Command G. It will be inside and, and I don't know why all this will be connected. Actually, we don't want this. Press N to take out the control panel. Just delete off all this. We just want a W and that's press tab to get out. And you can rename that, hold the noise timeline and duplicate that. Plug that with another W and make a map and give a small number, maybe like a 0.01. And we can frame these two to be time A, frame this to be time B. The reason why I put in the group is because if I put in the group, then every change that I make will be also applied to the duplicate noise. So I don't have to change them individually because the only difference is the W, which is the time index. The rest of the value for these two noise should be the, exactly the same. Take another factor math, subtract 0.5 as well, plug this and duplicate this. Plug that from this, the first one, time A and also time B for the second one. So now we get this. So now we want to use align ruler to vector. This node is very important, but uh, it's very confusing and difficult to explain. Even myself couldn't figure it out all the time. Sometimes I'm, if I get lucky, I can get it right. Sometimes couldn't. So just follow along the, at this point. First, plug this to the vector and we take a position and the vector rotate and set this to be Euler and plug this position to vector and plug this rotation to rotation and plug the vector result to the position and go take a look at your fish try to play the timeline a little bit to see how it works so I believe mine is kind of like backward. So it means I did something wrong. I should put this time B to be minus 0.01. This will be the past time and this will be the current time. So let's play again. So the fish is almost like it's swimming, but sometimes it will rotate like a very weirdly. There's more we need to fix that. So let's friend all this, we know it's using for rotation rename that to be rotate to fix that just duplicate this and set this to be z and set this to be y and also plug this vector to this vector and now play so the rotation is being fixed and i would like to turn this vector to be some somewhere 0.5 something between here it will change the horizontal rotation and this setup is more advanced and just have to memorize that or you can make a screenshot and every time you want to do something with some rotation maybe you can use this maybe it works and i will not try to explain that that leave to the expert that who really know how it works and if you find your animation sometimes it looks like this it means the rotation happened too fast just change this number 
to be somewhere minus bigger so I think 0.05 is okay for me now it might still sometimes it will happen like that but we will have more way to fix that later so now with that we have to make one more thing apply a wave to this body so it's kind of like it's swimming take a math and set this to be sine wave so it's called sine and take a rotate ruler and set this to be excess angle and set this to be local and plug that here and plug this sign to the angle try to drag this see if, if it's moving so if it's moving plug this from this time to the value try to play that a little so it's not strong enough so let's take another math set it to be multiply maybe 20 and try to plug another multiply at the end i have set this first multiply to be 200 and the, the end to be 0 0.5 if this is one the whole effect will be bigger it's like too strong so i would use 0 0.5 for now and i frame this to be wave so all here are actually coming from bbb and 19 and after this is to do some customization for this fish we can use some selection for this fish tail it will behave even more naturally and also i will make some changes for how the head move so when it swims faster wave will behave stronger when it swims slower the body wave will behave weaker and last but not least we want to make the swimming animation following a curve and that way we can make the swimming animation actually is in our frame it will not be swimming out or anywhere else let's make the first customization the first one we want to make the tail behave even more soft and even more natural so now it looks somewhere like this it's a little bit stiff so let's apply our selection in and we want to use the old part selection to make this outline of the tails to be calculated with this distance as well so let's make the group input and let's make that attribute set that to be vector and go the all part go to your swimming geometry no modifier and click here and select the all part selection so now we have that now we set this multiply to be multiply add we can just try to plug that in however it's too strong definitely so take a math multiply it to be quite small just multiply it to some degree now you got some behave a little bit different but it seems to be the opposite so try to use opposite so now you can get something even more soft and now you have to make some change of this number because now it's behaving like too soft so i will use a color ramp if you drag this black part you will see the close to the body will be will be a little bit not so strong so maybe that looks right because it's close to the body and you got some like bone structure just to know you have to change these three to get a proper number so you can come back to change that later once everything is finish so now we got that done secondly we want to change the wavy movement which is this part we want it to be like when you swing faster the movement will be bigger or will be faster when you swim slower the movement also will be slower that way it will look more natural be able to do that we have to take the distance between these two because it got some offset so it's not in the same point so you can get some distance to take a vector math set it to distance just grab these two vector put it right here right here another multiply and just reset that first and set that to be multiply and if you try to plug this directly in you will get this some crazy stuff so just use another multiply and set this to be 0.008 close my first geometry node so I can see the body more clearly so that's how it like behave sometimes it will move faster and sometimes it will just like uh, quite still multiply add 
give a little value for the base. Maybe you can plug a color ramp to see, help you to control a little bit. It might have to something to do with this, my distance between these two numbers. So just to know this part will control the different behavior of the wave. It's also something to do with this time B because it counts the distance between A and B. So now we have to do one last thing is make the fish follow the curve. So let's bring this down first because I want to work in this area. So be able to let it follow a curve. First of all, we have to make a curve. Just make a curve. Bezel curve. Then just go to the add mode and select O and delete. Press X to delete that. And set this to be bezel and cursor. Just draw something. Maybe this time try to even more complicated than before. Then you can try to um, grab it a little. Now we got this curve. Let's drag that into our animation swimming geometry node group. I set that to be relative because we might move that. And just move this curve first. Go back to geometry node and, and use the join geometry for temporary to show this curve. Then we want to set spine cycle. It will close this end. And use the set spine resolution. Can live like this as at the moment. And we try to fix this curve a little bit because uh, maybe this angle is too big. So go back to your curve. Or we can just delete this too. Just like this. Go back to the geometry node. And we take a sample curve plug this from here so we want to sample a point from this curve and there's like this position so we can plug this position to this set position so when we plug that in the fish will stuck on this curve it try to like drag that so the fish is go along with this curve like this so now the idea is this it works just like this this is the noise. We want to make a copy of this, doing what this noise timeline do. Copy that, and also we drag the time from here. So just work just like that. And of course, another map. And first, just try to use the same number to see if that works. So since we got that, it's behaved really like this. We put them a line so that's that we know how they kind of work because they are like a different version of each other and just put it maybe here i should frame this together because i think they should be at one piece and all this okay so this behave like this and i should plug this to position to here just don't get confused because right now it seems a little bit confused and set these two simple curve to be vector and use the math and set it to be fraction so in this way you will always loop in the zero and one and now try to play your animation and the fish should swim properly and if if the fish is swim like a very junky sometimes you will like jump that might be the resolution of your curve is not enough so just make it like higher yep so right now the fish is following the curve and because we use the same systems so all the rotating that kind of stuff will also be correct like we do before and now we can mix between them so use a mix rgb we we'll make two and plug this to be the first one and plug the other two from the curve to the lower color and take a value to drive these two 
Let's set it to one first. And plug this back to here. So now you drag this, you may see some behavior, but it will still stuck on this curve because we have forget to do one thing is for this offset, the set position offset still coming from the curve. So we have to mix that as well. So this is the noise offset coming from. And this is the curve offset coming from. So we also mix that and plug this to here. So let's see. If we put it to be zero, the fish will just swim in the noise that you set. But if you put it like a 0 0.5, It will swim in the mix some, somewhere along with this curve, but also have some randomness. And now you can make this curve smaller, bigger. You can even drag it to be other place. The fish will really follow in this curve. So let's say if our frame is looking like that. I just want this fish to be more in the frame. So I can make this smaller. I could even rotate the curve. Like this. And see, even if I rotate this curve to be horizontal, and I bring it up. The direction of the fish, it will turn automatically correct. So in this way, you have very good control of your fish. One last thing has not passed yet is this for the head shaking. We should put this inside of here so that's easier to view. Vector mass and set it to distance. And put it inside of this frame somewhere lower and this two is coming from here so now we got this we can delete this first and we take another factor math and put inside of this frame put lower and set this to be distance as well one coming from here and one coming from here and we take another mix RGB and we do this and this and this and now we can plug this back and we can turn this all on and this one thing I, I also want to do is because of the nature of this effect it will make your fish looks longer we want to compress it back to the normal size again so we will do a set position between this group input and the, this set position for the whole animation so take a set position and take a position vector map so they to be multiplied put this in and this to be the position things will be disappear because need to be set to one at first so now if you change this value the first value it will make your fish back to normal again maybe 0.7 I would like to be a little bit fatter basically that's everything for this you build a fish first and you build the swimming systems at the end, I couldn't find the perfect number for some of the value. When I do it off recording, it was better. I think one of the reasons is because I didn't scale the fish properly at first. But anyway, hope you can find it, the best value. So some of the most important thing to tweak for this fish swimming is this section, including maybe this 
it will change the like the softness it will make the end of the tail have the bigger delay give bigger softness and something about this like this three instead of use this this multiply you can maybe use this plug this to here maybe you can get a different behave that will be looks better for you and now i'm going to talk about how do you boost your performance from like uh, 5 fps or 10 fps to be like 30 fps it's almost like a real time if i play this fish with even the fish scale on the performance right now it's like uh, 4 fps so it's like super slow and you will slow down your rendering time and it's difficult to work with if you want to see how your animation works the way to boost it up is by applying this giant machine modifier so you can make a duplicate of this and you apply that so i already have to make a duplicate of this uh, original one so i can just go apply that hit this arrow and apply make sure you apply the swimming animation modifier only apply the first one so now the performance will go to like almost 30 super smooth and everything looks the same you got all your texture automatically applied to your model so now if you go to the animal you will have the whole mesh as your fish it's no longer this basic form it kind of break the procedural side of this fish but it's just a clone so after you done this animation if you want to redo this fish just go back to your original fish and do some change and you clone that and do that and apply to do that animation and one thing is that i find is very weird maybe somebody know this can answer that to me so if now we check this selection for example like the the old part it's supposed to be only the outline of this uh, fish tail, right? But now if I check, it will select everything. And for the rest of this, it's, it's the same. All the selection will become like uh, for everything. In a way, it will not longer have the selection. However, if we check on the swimming animation, this swimming animation, if you remember, it does use selection to make our tail look softer, right? so it's in this part we use this old part selection if i break that the fish will behave like uh, uh, it's not apply this right but if i apply this it still works as before before i apply this fish dimensional modifier and all this modifier if they use selection they also work as selection is correct it's pretty weird so if i put for example, if I put a smooth modifier, so if I drag this new smooth modifier without any selection, you will see the whole fish will be smooth out, like not what we want. However, the old smooth modifier with the selection, it still works as what we want with this old part selection. It didn't seem to smooth everything. So that is very weird, but it's kind of like a good thing because it remains the selection to work properly but but if you check vertex group it seems to be not correct so it's super weird and there's another benefit that you can use to apply the um, geometry node modifier that is you can turn this to be a fish generator that each fish have different variant and make them all looks the different for example these two fish they look the different the tail this like break and this is like without the break and this tail is like bigger and this tail is um, kind of like smaller so how to make it to be a fish generator so this fish i already make some variable for each frame so if i want to say okay i, I want a new fish i just go to another frame to find the fish that i want for example this is the fish that i'm looking for and I just duplicate this collection duplicate collection and maybe cl close this for temporary and I just apply that so now I got this fish and now I open this old fish generator collection and I just go um, another time to find another fish that I'm looking for so maybe this is how I like 
I can do the same thing. So then I have two fish and they both still work with the swimming animation modifier. So let's see how to make this variant for each frame. It's very simple. So that's our um, fish jammers, you know. And let's go to check this first section is for offset the tail. Just pick any value that you wish to be make it to be a variant. So I use the same time and plug that with the random number or noise texture. And depending on how you want to change, you if you want to change only the X or the Y or the Z, you just combine X, Y, Z. Or you, if you want to change the O3 together, you just plug that in directly. So every frame that will receive different seed or different ID. And that way you got your fish generator. This valuable is just an example. I make several for different value that I wish to receive this different random number. So that's how you turn this to be a generator. I've been working this series for so long and to be honest, I just want to be finished. At first I thought it would be one or two videos, but now it could be like three, four video. It was not my intention. I try to explain things because I try to make this as like a beginners friendly tutorial. So I think the concept is still beginners friendly, but just maybe my execution is not good enough. But anyway, hope you can enjoy this fish and I hope to see the fish that you make. Whether you send me or post on your social media, let me see. Tag on my Instagram or send me to the private. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like comment say anything we will see each other in the future thank you bye bye